Hang on, I'm here. I'm here. Don't start the show without me. Ah! Ow! Got it. Got it. I just got back from Bed Bath & Beyond. Yeah. Don't, don't judge me. All right. Bed Bath & Beyond. Here we go. Got something here for my camera. This is awesome. Where is it? Hang on. Here it is. Wait till you see what this is. Gotta get this label off. All right, so I just got back from Bad Bath and Bed Bath and Beyond, and you're thinking Bed Bath and Beyond camera equipment? I don't understand life right now. Well, check this out. I was on Vimeo, I was doing my little web surfing, and I came across a video by the guy uh, by the name of Tony Coretti, and he had this awesome idea, and I had to share it with you guys. Basically, he grabbed one of these silicone uh, jar openers, is what this is, and he stuck it on his DSLR camera and turned it into a follow focus. Check this out. It's pretty basic. I mean, it's a jar opener. And it's a solid piece, silicone rubber, little zipper here. And this is what it looks like on the lens. You just basically roll this right over the lens, tighten up the little ring here, like so. And there you go. Now you would need a lens with enough surface area to take the grip. This is a little over a half inch thick. So I know some of the smaller like 50 millimeter lenses have a real, real thin focus ring. So this might not work on that, but as you can see, it just fits right on there and boom. Look how cool that is, that's so sweet. Yeah, nice and smooth. And because it's the silicone rubber, it's got a little bit, just enough of a play, so it has a nice smooth landing when you get it into focus. So it'll be nice and smooth. Yeah, let's uh, do some sample footage and see what it looks like. All right, so of course my heater is gonna kick in as soon as I do this test video. But here we go, we got the silicone uh, rubber jar opener set up for our follow focus. And it's really nice because it sticks out about two inches and uh, you can just reach up and boom, rack focus. Now I have this on my shoulder rig right now and I'll do another sample on uh, with the camera on a tripod so you can really see how smooth this is. And the cool thing about the silicone rubber because it gives a little bit, if you miss your focus mark, you can kind of bring it back and it just looks real fluid. You can see where I kind of rack it in and out of focus. It's just nice and smooth. You just reach up. Oh yeah, that's awesome. That's a must have in the camera bag for sure. All right, so here we go. We got the camera on a tripod. Let me just get it in focus here on the Superman. All right, so there we go. And uh, we'll just move it past into the background. And it is nice because that uh, silicone just has a little bit of play in it. It just takes some of the natural shock and shake out of your hand and makes it a smooth focus. Bring it back up front. Back to the back again. Oh yeah, that's nice. So there you go. Pretty cool. Definitely. Definitely a... Uh, keeper three bucks follow focus definitely worth trying out and if nothing else you can at least use it to open jars right bananas. Bananas. Do -do -do -do. sweet mini movie a little bit longer than normal but that was awesome hey thanks for sending that in if you've got one add it as a video response we might use it in a future episode all right thanks again there it is your super cheap super cool follow focus very cool that was tony Coretti that i came up with the idea his link's in the description uh thanks again for watching leave a comment if you've got one and uh go make a movie
you might be wondering, uh, what is that thing? Why is that there? Well, that's what I use when I do my stand-in when I'm by myself to do my focusing. I focus in on that and uh, stand-in. That's my stand-in. 